Daniel from Tech Help Direct, and today we're uh, doing an iPad deployment for Good Start Early Learning Centers. Uh, 1,240 iPads to be deployed to seven uh, states and territories to 680 different locations. So the process that we're taking is we're running um, through a program called Apple Configurator. Uh, this is to initially create uh, profiles that will automatically connect the iPads to um, the Airport Extreme that we've got over here, which uh, it's just their bridge network. Um, connected to there as well, we also have um, the Apple server, which has the caching server, is caching the applications, um, and then being able to locally download the applications onto the iPads. So all, um, all iPads actually have to go through the Apple configurator to originally uh, configure them to enroll them into our MDM, which is uh, Casper Suite by Jamf Cloud. So uh, Jamf Cloud is actually managing all of our 1,240 devices. Um, from there we can deploy profiles, um, restrictions, uh, different applications and so on. Basically manage everything. Um, let's go in and have a look at Casper Suite and also enrolling the devices. Oh, first we'll start with actually um, enrolling the devices in Apple Configurator. So what I'm going to do is the process we've been taking is actually enrolling four of them at a time through Apple Configurator. So we'll just grab four of our iPads here which are being deployed all to uh, Western Australia, which is backwards there, but the code that we've been using is Western Australia. Then with the center code, the three digit unique code that they have, and then um, obviously there's one or two iPads or three iPads for each location. So as an example, we'll just run through all of these. So, so here looking at our screen, we've got Apple Configurator open. Um, here we can see we've got a Wi-Fi settings profile which automatically connects us to our um, Wi-Fi hotspot once the device is disconnected from Apple Configurator. Uh, we also have the certificate to tell it to trust the MDM, which is Casper Suite. And then we also have a WA enrollment profile. So this automatically enrolls us into our Western Australia group. Um, moving forward there, we're just going to plug in the devices. So within Apple Configurator, um, we've also got our setup here. So what we're doing is actually customizing the, uh, the startup phase of the iPad. So we're, we're choosing to skip the um, restoring from a different location, uh, whether to use Siri or not, uh, whether to use Touch ID, uh, Apple Pay or App Analytics. We're skipping all of those phases to make the enrollment process a little bit easier and faster. Um, we're not actually deploying any apps via Apple Configurator um, because everything will be done via the MDM to push the apps out. Uh, secondly, oh, thirdly as well, sorry, the settings um, I explained before. We're also supervising the device so that uh, we can apply restrictions remotely, a lot more restrictions than what we could if it wasn't supervised. Um, we can also turn off uh, the Ooh, the end wow. user um, disconnecting the um, sorry erasing all content on the Mac um, and what we're also doing here just in sequential order we've got the WA and roll 76 if we look over here the devices when they come up through Apple configurator we're getting here the enroll with each number and then those devices are changed to the um, unique center code that I showed before uh, on the iPad. We've also got the organization details which will be on the um, profile as well so it's good to start early learning with their help desk details. So what we'll do we can see up here now in prepare we've got four devices connected which are all on. What we're going to do is hit prepare. Uh, we can see our four iPads come on there and they're going to install the latest system at the time now which is um, iOS 8.1.2, there's a fresh version of that being installed uh, with the profiles and then the devices get activated uh, along the way, uh, each of them simultaneously. So it just seamlessly runs through there and just installs all the profiles and completes it.
Okay, once they're all done, we, we get a, a noise to indicate that it's uh, they're all finished. Um, once they're finished, we can see here that four or four devices have been prepared. So they are, they, they are now in supervision state. Um, so if we go to USB connected, they're all supervised there. So we can see there, they've got our WA and ROLL76 uh, code. So what we're going to do is go over to our MDM, uh, being Casper Suite. Uh, we're just going to refresh that. And then within Casper Suite, from the profiles that we put on through Apple Configurator, we can see those devices have now shown up, um, and they'll be ready for us to change the uh, the name from WA and Roll uh, to our center code, the unique code that each device is given. Okay, so now we're connected to the iPad. Um, what we're going to do is swipe across. So we've got the introduction um, of Hello, basically uh, based on our settings that we put into Apple Configurator here before. Um, we only have the activation points that we need to go through. So um, obviously we have to choose our language, which we're choosing English. We're in Australia. Um, as per the Wi-Fi profile that we put on through Configurator, it's automatically found our iPad setup network, which we have here. Um, so there's no passwords that need to be put in. It just automatically finds it. So we're just going to hit next. Um, then we're going to enable location services on our devices and we're going to sign in with our unique Apple ID for each location. So our location as we have it here, so here we have our Apple ID entered for each unique uh, location uh, with the password as well. So we're just going to hit next. Um, we get our terms and conditions which is something that we can't skip so we're just going to agree to those and confirm. Let's register the device with the Apple ID and set up our Apple ID. We're choosing not to use iCloud for all of the features except for um, Find My iPad. So the device obviously will be encrypted um, and also for tracking purposes. So we're going to enter our code for each iPad that we're choosing. We're going to go next. So then we just get to the get started screen so it skipped a lot of those phases that we didn't necessarily need to enter. So now we're on the, the activation uh, and pre-configuration stages of our iPad. Um, we're going to find that that device that we've just activated uh, is actually called uh, WA Enroll 76. So our WA Enroll 76 is here as we can see it in Casper Suite. It's shown up. So what we're going to do to this one is simply just go into it, um, edit the general settings and then alter the name of the device. Uh, we're going to enforce the mobile device name so that if the device is ever changed later down the track, uh, it will get the same code again, uh, the same center code that we needed to. So our center code, um, as we know it is ATW-1 on that one. And we're just going to hit save. Uh, once we save that, it's going to automatically deploy those settings to the iPad. So coming back to our iPad now, uh, now that we've uh, changed the name of the device from Enroll76, it actually also uh, pings the iPad and says you've got a few apps to download. So um, what we're going to do here is just enter our Apple ID. Once we've entered that password, we just hit OK. and that. Um, basically says that we can get the apps that are stored in um, Casper Suite. We can see here, they're actually automatically deploying. I'm not doing anything, they're coming straight from Casper Suite um, and assigning themselves to our Apple ID that I've just put the details in. So these are all the apps that uh, Good Start requires us to add on to each device. Which are um, all stored on the Mac as well uh, in the caching server system. So they're they're downloading very quickly because they're all stored locally. Um, there's nothing, no bandwidth, no internet bandwidth being used. They're all just coming straight from the caching server. Um, while that's happening, we also need to manually go in and actually download the pages, numbers, and keynote applications as well as iTunes U. Uh, we're going to choose not now for the family sharing option. Um, we are going to go into explore. 
And actually, once we do that, it prompts us to download pages, numbers, and Keynote as free applications, which come with the uh, devices free. They're normally $12.99, but with each iPad, uh, you get the free Apple suite with it. So we're going to go ahead and install pages, numbers, and Keynote, and also iTunes U, which have been requested from Good Start. So these also being cached as well, we can see they do come down very quickly, uh, considering they are 250 to 450 uh, megabyte applications. Um, we're just going to go ahead and hit done and come back to our home screen. We can see here that all of our apps that were cached as well have now finished um, or are in the process of finishing. We're just loading um, pages, keynote numbers and iTunes U as well. As they're a bit bigger, it does take a little bit longer to install them. Okay, we've now got all of our apps downloaded. Um, so coming back to this as well, we're going to look into settings where we also go to about as well. And we can see that our device name is now a WAATW, which is our center code and iPad number one as well. Um, the other requirement as well was to activate iCloud Find My iPad. So we're going to go into here, just activate Find My iPad, turn it on. We're going to allow that and that's done for the iPad. So we have all of our apps on there that are required. They've automatically been downloaded apart from Pages, Numbers, Keynote and iTunes U which we manually had to go and authorize and from there on we can turn the iPad off and um, box it up and to be shipped out to the location. So here we're in Jamf Cloud in our web browser uh, as well so it's our, our Jamf software Casper Suite so um, login that we're in so what we've got here are our enrollment profiles, which is what we downloaded previously um, to enroll the device in uh, in the Casper Suite with Apple Configurator. So we can see here, for example, if we go to our WA enrollment profile, um, we've told the device uh, to get the username of WA, which we can later use to uh, deploy apps through VPP to specific users, uh, and also through the self-service application that Casper Suite offers. Um, the, we've created all of the centers by state, so uh, we can see down here under building, um, we've got WA centers, so uh, each device that gets enrolled in WA goes under the uh, WA centers building or, or category. Um, coming back up to here into our configuration profiles, we have our WA center profile. So in here we have um, the restrictions that we can set, all of the ones that we've set specific to the store, the Wi-Fi profiles to automatically join their network, um, the web clips that we've installed, um, which you saw on the screen before on the iPad, uh, content filters, etc. There's a lot that you can customize within this profile. Here we see our inventory, which are all our devices at the moment. So if we just click on search, um, we see all of our devices just in one section. So we've got ACT uh, which with each center code, New South Wales, uh, etc. We can find all the information out of the device just by clicking on it. Um, and we have all of our information we can see here. We've got five profiles, there's three certificates on each device. Um, the hardware is an iPad Air 2, Wi-Fi. Uh, and all the settings that we can see. The enrollment profile used was the New South Wales enrollment profile. And yeah, we've just taken all of those settings out, deployed them through Apple Configurator, and then the devices are then managed through Casper Suite later on. Okay, thanks everyone for listening. That wraps up our uh, Casper Suite deployment using Apple Configurator for Good Start. Uh, if you've got any questions, please post them below and um, we'll be happy to answer them. And uh, if we can help you out, visit www.techhelpdirect.com.au. Thank you.